Hello students, today we will learn that how an axial flow compressor works. Okay, we will know the working principle by the help of a daily life example. So easily you will be able to learn that how exactly it works, the physical uh, concept, the physical realization of how an axial compressor works. Okay, so over here what you see that there is a fan and this is a plastic bag okay and this is the opening of plastic bag this is the motor and right now the fan is not running means motor is not giving power to this fan now in case this fan starts spinning then air will start flowing okay so that air will go inside uh, this plastic bag through the opening and it will be inflated okay earlier it was not inflated now inflated okay so what we see that the air is coming and by the help of this fan it is moving in this direction and this is the axis of rotation this is the shaft of fan red colored axis so this is the axis of rotation so air is actually moving in the direction of axis of rotation so initially air had kinetic energy and ultimately it is going inside this plastic bag and that kinetic energy of air is converting into pressure energy okay so this is what the principle of an axial flow compressor that is an axial flow compressor is a turbo machine in which air or gas is compressed pressure is increased while the motion of fluid is along the axis of rotation means what we see that the motion the direction of motion of this air is along the axis of this rotor this uh, fan is acting as a rotor so uh, the direction of movement of air is parallel to this axis of rotation of fan and ultimately the kinetic energy is converting into pressure energy so this is what the principle of an axial flow compressor now what is the staging concept in axial compressor it is very simple see you this is the plastic bag so the air is uh, made to flow by the help of this fan it is entering inside the pressure is rising then that high pressure air there is one more passage so one more rotor is there one more fan is there so it is uh, adding more kinetic energy and ultimately reaching to this final bag so the pressure there is p2 so p2 will be greater than p1 because already when air was uh, coming to this second rotor second fan already it had some pressure p1 so by addition of kinetic energy more pressure has been raised in this second plastic bag so this is what is called as staging so this is the first stage uh, the fan and this bag and then a second fan second bag this is the second stage this is what the staging concept in axial compressor now the axial flow compressors are commonly used in jet engine of airplane jet engine is over here this is the airplane you can see and below these wings these are the jet engines of air airplane which develops thrust so that the airplane can advance so this is the real image of a jet, model of jet engine you can see so where the axial compressor has been used so you can see these are the blue colored blades acting as a fan acting as a fan these are the moving blades and over the drum these are mounted over the drum you can see and drum is drum is on the shaft so actually this entire drum rotates and this is the cut section model okay this entire system is sitting inside the casing okay so some part of casing has been removed so what we see that this this is the moving blade system means you can take it as the fan and then there is one more this moving blade system second fan in between these two uh, fans there is some vacant space some blank space actually in this blank space there are non-moving blades installed you can see over here these white color entities are actually non-moving blades these non-moving blades are actually attached to the casing so they don't move they just do the work of raising the pressure means with high kinetic energy when the fluid is leaving the moving uh, blade then when passing through these non-moving blades the pressure is raised as well as these non-moving blades works to provide the proper direction to the air before arriving to the second set of moving blades like this so one moving blade system then there is non-moving blade system then again moving blade system then non-moving blade system so one moving blade system and one non-moving blade system is called as one stage so one stage then second stage then third stage then fourth stage like this so like this way the pressure raises to many folds first stage some pressure rise second stage second pressure rise third stage more pressure rise then more pressure rise then more pressure rise okay so what is the job of non-moving blades actually high kinetic energy of air reaches these non-moving blades okay so over there the actual rise of pressure takes place as well as they gives the proper direction to the air before reaching to the second set of moving blades okay and later on there are other components of jet engine okay so in case we are taking the top view of the system then it will look like this these green blades are actually 
moving blades and these purple blades are actually normal blades so air is coming high kinetic energy they are gaining and between these non moving blades pressure is rising then again proper direction to these blades again more kinetic energy is added then again pressure rise then more kinetic energy uh, in pressure rise okay one set of moving and one set of non moving blade comprises of one stage so with number of stages the pressure can be raised to many folds okay so that high pressure air can be used wherever high pressure air is required okay so hope by this small lecture you would have understood that how uh, this axial flow compressor works i have told you only the working of it in the next lecture we will learn about how to develop the velocity triangles of axial flow compressor thank you